really great resource we have is called Ingenet Base, and it is essentially it's a collection of online engineering handbooks. You can get to it by going to the library website. This is the URL. And once you're there, go under search and locate, search the databases. This brings up the page of our database listing. You can search by title if you know it. You can browse by title or you can browse by subject. I'll go ahead and click on E and scroll down near the bottom is Ingenet Base right here. Now if you're accessing this from outside the library you're going to need to log in using your GT email account information. Now once you click on that it should bring you to the main interface and you can see that they're now featuring over 500 titles. A really a really cool feature is the search because you can search all the handbooks at the same time. So if you're dealing with stress or fatigue or something like that, um, you know you can search all titles really quickly and, and get the information you need. You can see some of the categories: you know, technology, nanoscience, lasers and optics, um, industrial engineering, manufacturing, those kind of things. So it's really on target with a lot of a lot of our research that we're doing. Let's go ahead and click on mechanical engineering. You can see it lists all the handbooks in that category. I think uh, thermodynamics seems to be a really uh, favorite class of everyone. We'll go ahead and look at that. We click on read it online and this brings up a table of contents. And one of the cool things is that it's in PDF. So that means it's, it's fully searchable. You can uh, save it to your hard drive. Uh, you can print it. You can email it. You can do a lot of things with this, with this material. And um, gives you the table of contents of the book, and again, it's all hyperlinked. So we can go ahead and click on something uh, with the multipliers, and it takes you right to that page in the book. And a lot of you know a lot of grad students and, and PhD students use this, and, and I, I definitely recommend it. It's a great, powerful resource. So again. Use IngeNet Base. And if you have any questions about this or any other resources, let me know.